So a while ago, I did a live stream where I had some fun with the Frank Fontaine boss fight. First, I used all the weapons in the game. And keep in mind, this was on a new game plus where all of my weapons and plasmids and tonics were fully upgraded. The only weapons that truly gave me an issue were the pistol and the crossbow, which was kind of odd, but that's a different video. Then I moved on to plasmids. And for easy and medium difficulties, Plasmids absolutely destroyed Frank Fontaine. So I've had this idea since that live stream. I wanted to see if you can beat Frank Fontaine using Plasmids only on the hardest difficulty. So I tried hard as kind of a test and practice run, and it was really, really simple. So that was done first try. Survival also was done first try. However, I actually kitted Jack to use the plasmids and the tonics that would actually benefit me the most. If you wanna see the full list of what I used, I'll leave it down in the description below. However, I will say the main plasmid you wanna be using is telekinesis, and that's because this thing is insanely powerful. And plus, there's a lot of barrels in the actual boss room where you can pick them up and throw them at Fontaine and it does a lot of damage. And thankfully, you have a lot of area to work with during the boss fight. As far as tonics are concerned, for physical, I use natural camouflage, which really didn't come in handy unless I needed to stop somewhere and kind of pause just to be able to heal or pop a Eve Hypo. I used Sports Boost 2 to be able to outmaneuver Fontaine, so that came in handy. Medical Expert 3, that way every time I used a med kit, I would also get Eve back and I wouldn't have to waste an Eve Hypo. Then accompanied with that, Eve Link 2 was a lifesaver. Security Evasion 2 for the second phase of the Fontaine fight, and then Eve Saver as well. For Engineering, it really doesn't matter. You're not doing anything with them, so pick whatever you want. And then combat. These are some of the key ones that I would highly recommend using. So one, Static Discharge 2. It allows you to take more damage from electrical attacks, and it actually, I believe, shocks the enemy that attacks you if they're around you. Two, Frozen Field 2. It allows you to take more damage from frozen attacks. Armored Shell 2, it allows you to take more damage overall. Electric Flesh 2, it allows you to take electric damage again. And then Human Inferno 2, it allows you to take fire damage. All of these are implemented within the Frank Fontaine boss fight. And as you see in the background, Telekinesis is your best friend with this. Of course, you're going to get hit by some of his attacks, but if you do this on a new game plus, you should have enough of the health and eve upgrades to be able to fully max out your character and be able to tank the hits with all of the combat tonics. And also, I just decided to mess around during the actual test run of this with some different plasmids as well as you can see me cycle through them. So to answer the question, can you beat Frank Fontaine on survival? using plasmids only? Well, yes. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do, like I said before, use telekinesis, use the barrels in the room, and then use the combat tonics to your advantage. So, if you enjoy videos like this, let me know and I would be more than happy to do more challenge videos in Bioshock. Just let me know, like I said, down in the comment section below. If you're new and want to see more videos or help the channel grow, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, never miss a video or a live stream, and be sure to follow me on Twitter. With that being said, thank you guys for watching.